So for the correct Behringer X32 drivers, this was what was sent to me from Behringer. Right, so you need to find X USB driver setup version 2.23 firmware. Now I don't know where they got that from, but I got it from Behringer. So that's what I loaded as drivers into the computer before I started this process. You've also got to add this guys. So in setup, I've got it set to 41, 44.1. Synchronization internal. Basically copy this. Okay, this is important. Mac EMCU, remote protocol, which you then go into the software and load. MIDI card remote interface. Card MIDI. Now, this fader, these faders on other people's YouTubes, they told you to unclick those, so they're see-through, but that's nonsense, because they were just using these eight buses. They weren't actually using the desk correctly. To use the desk correctly, you use all of these, 1 to 16, 17 to 32. These other guys, the German fella and the American guy, they were using these, and that's just wrong. That's not the right way to do it. So they were suggesting that you that you untick those. That's bullshit, right? Everything in there is correct. It all works. Okay? So set up your Behringer. Download the drivers into your computer. Set up the Behringer. Then go through the stages next. That I'm going to show you. Remote. Okay? Enabled. Okay? And when you've done it, remember that faders 1 and 2 are inputs from the computer. Okay? So you always start 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have our microphone on. Okay, so how many go to the faders? When it's done, you notice I'm actually moving the faders on the mixing desk. Okay, next one. On the screen. So that's when it's set. Okay, this is what it will do. So now we're going to show you how to set it. And this is amazing because even Behringer didn't know how to do this. <laughs> Sit. Right, so today we're going to be linking up the um, the knobs here um, with FR Studio Mixer. So um, right now they are linked because I've already done it. Um, for, if I click on this, that... They're all, they're all linked here, and if you look here, they're, they're all moving a bit. But to allow this to happen, you have to go um, onto this thing here, click that, and then what you have to do is, um, is you have to click each one you want it to start from. So I want to start with number three because these two are for the main speakers. So for that one, that one, you got to click all of them that you want to use. Them that all like that. Right, they are all selected. Then you go on to override generic links. Then you go. Then you go and hit reset. Then then you want to um, go onto your onto the X32 and do each one. Then go on each one. Uh, yeah, yeah, each one. So each one. Each one, each one, and then all these should be selected with it. And, um, and yeah, so it's from there to there to there to there to there to there to there. To there. You see, all these are all moving. So that that, that that's how you link it up.